guys, Mrs. Mills here. Hope you've been enjoying Brass Week, which is all about instruments that are made of brass. We have our last video today, and we're gonna have three brass instruments in one video. Maybe you've been finding a brass instrument that you would like to play. So, three brass instruments, here we go. Hi, my name is Lily, and today I'm going to teach you about the tuba, which is the largest and deepest voiced instrument um, in the brass family. And all you have to do to make sound is buzz your lips into this. Um, it's a pretty easy instrument. I like it a lot. Um, I first chose it as a joke. Not gonna lie. Because I, I was a little thing in um, middle school, but it really clicked with me and I wouldn't trade it for another instrument. So I'm going to play a little thing most commonly known for deeper voices. So. So that's one of the most commonly known little things that deep voices have and this is a really cool instrument and it has it doesn't have a lot of complicated parts in music which is awesome uh, but yeah bye Hey there, I'm going to be demonstrating to you an instrument called the euphonium, not to be confused with the baritone, which is a uh, smaller. Uh, Alright, so a euphonium can either have three or four valves, the fourth valve just acting as a, a substitute as one and three. And to make a noise, or to make a sound rather, through this instrument, you take the mouthpiece here, which this is actually uh, one of Mr. Carpenter's trombone mouthpieces. You're not really supposed to do that. but uh, And you just buzz your lips through it. Alright, so uh, the euphonium is a tenor voiced instrument. Um, it, it, can, uh, it mostly gets uh, what we would call the counter melodies in uh, any marches you might play, such as uh, this one is from The Thunderer. Sometimes it can have some other sort of melody to it. This is from a uh, Randall Standard arrangement of Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. <laughs> This instrument is a uh, the sound of it. It's got a nice full sound, and uh, they have very similar parts to the trombone, mainly second and third. And uh, it's just a neat, neat, really neat sounding instrument. And uh, that's really all I have to say about it. So, uh, yeah. 
Hey, boys and girls, it's Mr. Carpenter again. And right now I have the trombone, also known as the slide trombone. And I'll show you why that is in a minute. Okay, so if I back up here so I can get the whole thing in the picture, you can see that this is a very, peeking through at you, large instrument. So because it's so large, it's going to play lower notes, but not quite as low as the tuba. Uh, but it does play down there. Now, not all slide trombones necessarily look like mine. Mine has some extra tubes that are added, and that actually makes this a bass trombone. But they play the, pretty much the same notes as a regular tenor trombone does, so they're similar. Now, the thing that's unique about the trombone is that it uses the slide instead of valves. So we literally make the instrument longer or shorter to play our different notes. And you can see it there, getting longer and shorter, longer and shorter. And that's how we play our different notes on the trombone. Now, it is a brass instrument in the brass family. It uses a cone-shaped mouthpiece or a funnel-shaped mouthpiece. And I know I showed you the French horn mouthpiece in another video, and you can compare the size. This one is much bigger. Now, again, not as big as the tuba, but close. Now, the trombone and the euphonium or the baritone play similar notes. So they kind of sound the same, but they play those notes in a different way. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of trombone here for you, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like. And that is the trombone.